What's going on guys? Bastin and Mafia here coming at you with a new video for this week. It's Thursday and we didn't catch any fish this past week. Didn't get enough time to get out with between work and working almost every day last week. Um, I only had one day. We got out to Redmond and didn't do so hot. We caught one carp on a jig and that was all we got the whole trip. But that was pretty cool and interesting. Um, but either way, this video we're going to do a boat walk through. So let's get to her. Okay, to start out with, up here on the boat we got our trolling motor set up we got a Minn Kota maxim trolling motor it's a 70 pound thrust we got an upgraded head for the plug because the other ones kind of junk out and burn up and this one doesn't melt and it's a heavy duty one so we upgraded that we didn't recess our trolling motor because we don't like it recessed we'd rather have freedom to move it wherever we want and it's better for my dad with his back surgery, so that's why this isn't recessed and uh, brought down in. For our front uh, fish finder, we just got an older Humminbird 798 side imaging and down imaging. And she does the job just good enough until we get tired of her and we'll get another one. Back here, for our back one, we got a Humminbird Helix 7. This has side and down. Um, nice fish finder, this one's pretty good. Nice little setup. And, of course, back here, we got the live well. Extra big, fit big old fishies in there. We've had uh, quite some nice bags in there already. We've had uh, some 25 pound bags, easy and a little bit even over sometimes but uh don't get that very often up here in pennsylvania but when we do you need a nice big live well like this for the tournament back here we got where we keep everything for the trolling all the batteries we got a 24 volt system so we got uh three extra batteries two well two extra batteries and there's another one in here for the starting motor and all that so we got three batteries back here we took the big tank that was in the back here and gutted it out because for our lake, we only have a 20 horsepower motor up here and uh, we can only use that 20. So we don't need a huge tank for when you can use a uh, six and a half gallon and go around the whole lake for the whole week with that. So we took that out to reduce the weight a little bit. We got an onboard battery charger for the troll motor and everything else. So nothing uh, goes dead on us. Flip that down. Of course, here's the Yamaha 20. That's the motor we got. Little four-stroke Yamaha. Got down F and S along with the boat. Over in here, we got two back storage compartments. This one, we got our extra prop for the troll motor in case anything goes wrong and breaks or something. We got a floating aerator for in the live well. Works real good, helps the fish stay alive a little better. Along with some tools and stuff in there. And over here, we have um, some of our tournament stuff. We got the rejuvenate, helps keep the fish alive, helps keep them active and going. Definitely use this stuff in your live well. This is one of the best live well treatments you can get. Um, we got our call tags in here. We got our fish fizzer, just in case we catch any deep enough, we need to fizz. And we got our fish clips, just in case any deep and they want to start turning, you can put these clips on their weight, on their fins, and help keep them straight. Got some buoys in there in case we want to mark anything, even though we very rarely ever do that. Got extra anchor rope. Got the net right in here behind the seats, all ready to go in case we need it. Under here. We got all of our life vests. That's where we keep all the life vests and stuff. And then up here, this is actually technically supposed to be a rod locker, but we use it for tackle because we keep our rods on the deck. And we got one on this side and we got another on this side. Uh, got a lot of the baits and stuff over here. There's spinner baits, crank baits, a bunch of jigs all that and then under this hatch if i can get it up 
we got another front live well. That one's another one. So if we catch any uh, extra big ones, we can put the big, big ones up here, or it's also a bait live well. You can keep your bait in there, keep them separate from your big fish. So that's uh, our boat and all the gizmos and gadgets we got on it, all the extras. Not a whole lot, not something super fancy, but does the job and gets us on some fish. The boat itself is an Alumacraft Pro 175, down there, you see? And uh, either way, that's gonna about conclude it for this boat walk around. I'm gonna link in the description down below all this stuff, so if you wanna check out any of it yourself, you can. Gonna link um, FNS Yamaha and Marine's website down below too, because that's where we got the boat and all the accessories for it. Also, if you guys have any questions for me or about any of the products and stuff that we use, uh, you can ask them in the comments down below. And even if you have any um, ideas for some other videos that I can do, um, wanna make this content for you guys and wanna see have stuff on here that you guys wanna see and like. So if you have any ideas for me, um, shoot them in the comments down below as well. But either way, make sure you stay tuned for the next one. We'll see you next Thursday.